Hey guys, um, today I really just want to talk about um, weaknesses. Uh, pretty much one thing that I realized being here is that I'm very much weak to people in general. Like, um, not just anybody, but like nice people. Because when people are very nice, it really makes me want to do that much more for them. Um, and I don't mean just like faking niceness. I mean like actually being a nice person. Like, I mean me visually seeing you, talking to you, and just knowing that you're a kind person. And then it just really makes me want to just do so much for you just because you're nice. Um, generally, I mean, I. that being said, people that are mean, I don't generally click with um because it's not really the type of person i am you know style wise if you like kind of like that kind of what bad kind of style not bad in the sense of like just being bad but like you know the people what are kind of cool or whatever then that's cool but like if you're just like mean just for like no reason then it's really not my thing i probably won't click with you too much but then if you're super nice or whatever or you, you love to do things for other people then you know it just makes me that much more happier to want to do things for you and hopefully to be clo closer to, become closer to you you know um there you, there was a thing about me leaving my job um or what not leaving but like not continuing my contract for the next year and I was going to continue to begin with, but then the the thing with the boss and it just not going, what? Not in necessarily my way, but um, he said, it seems like some false things about me because I've talked to a couple of teachers and um, they're like, that's kind of weird because I didn't write anything bad about you. So I'm like, okay, you know, and it's, I mean, granted, I really don't know if they did or didn't or whatever, you know, but like just with their actions of what they've been doing for me um my last days of school just has really touched me because i i mean i have people that do stuff for me i you know but they're already friends and there's people that you know we work together and you know my students and so forth and just like the messages that they've been writing to me and um just some of the things that they've done for me during my last days in school you know and wanting me to come back next year like I hope you're gonna come back next year kind of thing you know it's really touched me because you know I've never had that happen to me you know um so I don't know it just made me so much happier and I just realized just how weak I am to people that are nice because I've already left my job, but them doing this has really made me like, did I make like the wrong decision? Like maybe I need to stay with them another year. But then like, if they're nice to me, then I would be here forever. And it would always be for somebody else. It wouldn't be specifically for me, you know, and what I want to do and what I want to accomplish in life. But it's just because I feel like I've done something and I've changed some people's lives. And that's really what I want to do. I mean, I've talked about the things that I want to do, like I want to model, I want to sing, I want to act, and so forth. But all that, like, the happiest part for me coming out of doing stuff like that is if somebody saw me, you know, and they really just wanted to, you know, be be like me but not in like like I need somebody to be like me but like just seeing the type of person I am and just really like wow he's like cool he's down to earth and I want to be that kind of person you know not like I just want to wear his style or whatever or anything like that but like more along the lines of just from my personality somebody just knowing that wow like that's the type of person I want to be or you know that's the type of person I would love to hang out with you know that that's the main focus that I would want to get from anybody if I did anything along those lines you know and my my students have wrote so much to me which I'll show you guys um later on you know but like it just made me so happy and then I just 
The only bad part about it is like I hate that it makes me try to reevaluate like what did I do the wrong decision like this is like what I really want to do and what other people would like me to do and just because they've done so much nice things for me like my one of my last schools well second to last schools because I still have one more school that I'm going to attend a few times like they even like sang for me like I mean they got into their their whole choir mode and they like presented me with this nice 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 um little book of a picture that they took of me like teaching class you know and then in the middle it has pretty much some messages from them and then and then like they said everything was in English too, which was actually amazing. I'm just like, whoa, 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 okay, okay, you know. Um, and then they were like, they wanted to sing a song for me. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> I was like, a song too. I was like, okay, I'm good, you know. And then they started singing. I was listening, and you know, like me, if you've listened, if you've like looked at any of my things about going to concerts, like I was kind of like swaying. I'm like, oh, this sounds nice, you know. And then like I was thinking about it. I was like, oh my God. I was like, did I make the wrong decision? Should I have continued my contract? You know, like I just started thinking about so much, you know, and um, there's been a lot going on recently. Um, but like, I was like, for, and it's not for me, it's, it's more for them because I'm like, did I make the right decision? Like, maybe I should have stayed one more year. You know, maybe I could have done this differently. Like, maybe I could have put up with that boss for another year. Maybe it wouldn't have been that bad. Like, it started, like, just hearing that song and making me think about what the, stu what the schools have done for me in my last few days. You know, it was really making me, like, rethink, like, everything. I'm just like, maybe I made like the wrong decision maybe i should still be with them another year you know but then i'm sure that you would turn into another year and another year and then i was like but it would always be for what they wanted me you know to do because they liked me you know or loved me and that's just something i'm weak against you know I love when people are super nice to me. I just lo love it so much. And it just makes me that much more happier, you know. And then, like, while they were singing, like, I started, like, looking away because I was like, oh, my God. Like, am I about to cry? I was like, oh, no. I was like, oh, my God, this is not, this is not good. And then <laughs> all of a sudden, it, <laughs> I started to cry. And they're like, oh, my God. Like, because there was, like, a part where they don't really sing it's more of what of just like the instrumental because um one of the students was playing the piano as they sang and i just heard them talking like oh my god is he crying is he crying <laughs> and i was like oh no i was like what am i doing i was like oh no i was like i'm not supposed to be crying i was like oh um which is actually very sad is that um there's one student um I'm not sure why she could be a little bit different maybe handicapped in some way but I'm not too sure but I do know she she does have a, also her separate class from the rest of the students so maybe she is but um ever since I've been there she loves hanging out with me you know and like every time like there's um what would that be in English like uh lunch break um she's always like are we gonna play again together? So every break I've pretty much played with her for the past year. Um, obviously other students want to play with me too, especially my uh, third years. Um, even though theirs is on a different, more like touchy-feely type of play. Um, even though now that sounds bad as I say it. But anyway, back to the point. Um, she, she loves hanging out with me. We generally we play cards, we've made like this game that was looks like shoots and ladders kind of if you guys played shoots and ladders um back in the day you know you roll a dice and then you go up and then if you do like something what well, if you go down the if you land on the slide then you go down but if you land on it's not i guess a shoot or a ladder you climb up whatever um but like now we we've we've always played and she's always enjoyed my company and she loves playing with me. She said I'm one of her favorite teachers. But like um, yesterday, like she, 
she really wanted to play, you know, as usual, but at the same time, like, she was like breaking down. She was like, oh my God, I'm so broken. She was like, I don't want you to leave. She was like, I don't think I want to come to school anymore. I'm like, oh my God. She was like, my life is over. I'm like, oh no, 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 don't say things like this. She's like, I can't do this. You're not going to be here next year. What will I do? I don't want to come to school no more. I'm like, oh no, oh no. She's like, you've always played with me and so forth. And she's like, now I just feel like my life is over. And then she started crying and I'm like, oh my God. And I'm like, no, no, don't do this. This is actually before the choir event that she attended too, because she's in the same class, but she also has her, her, her solo class too. Um, but you know, and I was, I was very good. I was like, no, 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 let's play this game. I was like, get up. And she just kept saying so like, my life is over. And we were playing, um, what a uh, match with cards and she just kept saying I'm just like no no we're good so our, our regular like 10 minute what matching game of the cards turned into like 20 minutes and we barely finished by the bell you know and then the um it's the third year's last year so they wanted me to sign their yearbook I'm like oh my god I haven't done this in some time <laughs> You know, but I signed their yearbook and that was amazing because I, I was just so happy that they wanted me to sign their yearbook, you know. And um, I even wrote in one of theirs because like I wrote like I wrote some stuff, but like as I wrote in maybe like five of their yearbooks because the rest had already went home. But they were like, oh, my God, he wrote something different for you than me. Obviously, all in English because they should be practicing their English, you know, <laughs> but um, one of them, like one of the nicest guys that. I met in that class like he was very very nice very very sweet guy um, but he came off as if he was hard you know but very very nice like I sw he had to probably be the hardest and coolest guy in the class but he was also like one of the sweetest so he he the exterior wise and so forth he came off very hard and very cool like as if if as if anybody or probably everybody wanted to be him inside the class but at the same time like talking to him and all that stuff he was just so nice and so sweet you know and I wrote like this long message in his um, yearbook and then he's and he's also is very good at English he's like yeah like not to knock he would hook oh, I started going to Japanese um, uh, some some way or another he um, understood what I was um, saying there but I read it to him in Japanese and then he looked so sad he looked like he was about to cry and I was just like oh no uh, I basically said like I was glad to meet him and I was like like in the whole world you're like one of like the nicest and sweetest per people that I have met and then you know he just looked so sad and he was just like thinking about it so much you know I'm just like oh but like I wrote different things and like their stuff but he was one of the nicest guys that I met there too you know but like then um after that we did the car thing and I, it just started to make me think about everything and my decisions up to this point you know and just because of how they made me feel it just made me think like like wow did I make the right decision should I be leaving this school but I already already I already left the company so I can't really turn back either you know I had the time to think about it okay well like a week or so if I wanted to but I was like I don't want to be with this boss again you know like he's making me feel like I'm not doing a good job and everybody's clearly saying that I'm doing a good job you know so I'm like he canceled all my stuff you know and if it went another way and maybe there was just not enough room for me in Tokyo then I would have been okay you know but like I just want to be a little closer to Tokyo you know in the heart of Tokyo and um he never came out to see any of my classes you know he wanted to come to this last class I guess but then once I said that I'm not going to continue next year then I guess he canceled which was pretty like messed up to me because like he didn't even tell the teachers that he wasn't coming so my teachers they were looking out, vice principal, principal, looking out for that company to come and they never came, you know. And then he was like, maybe I should call them. And then he calls them, you know. And then I guess he said, oh, we, yeah, we're not coming out or whatever. You know, pretty much they couldn't anyway because my class was already done. And I knew the reason why. 
already because I knew it's because like I'm not continuing so it's like what's the point of coming but then it was like what was the point of coming to the the last lesson to begin with you know you know all in all like if I could have just stayed there maybe I'm like but then I can't stay at all the schools as a regular teacher um and the working life of a teacher in Japan is so hard compared to like other places you know that's like a different story I'll tell you about you know, working as a foreign teacher and then working as a regular teacher in Japan in another upcoming vlog. But, um, you know, I, I, I love, I do, I generally love good people. Like, love, love good people. I don't really like people that are too mean, you know. I love playing around and having, having fun with my friends or whatever, you know. But, like, just being mean for no reason, I... I, it does. It just doesn't match with me at all, with my personality and so forth, you know. And you know, just I don't know. I just, I just loved what everybody. Did. I really love the song. Like, honestly, it really moved me to tears. Obviously, but um, I just never had anybody do that. And I was just like, man, I'm just so weak to nice people, like so weak, you know. And that was just pretty much it. I just want to pose that question today in this vlog is, what are you weak to? See you guys next time. Bye. Oh, wow. You're still here. Oh, wait. Don't forget to check the description box below. I put a lot of different things in there, like my lovely friends, my social medias, just in case you want to catch up with me on Twitter or Instagram and so forth like that. So make sure to please check that out, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.